Milan, Italy, where nothing says Christmas like panettone, and where legend links its birth to the chef for the Sforza family that ruled Milan from this castle in the 1400s. The pastry chef burnt dessert, so out of desperation pulled together another one quickly out of eggs, butter, sugar, and yeast, a kind of sweet bread, pane. The pastry chef's name, Tony, pane, Tony. Most pastry chefs in Milan don't really believe this story, but one thing they do believe is that the real panettone comes from here. È il panettone quello milanese. Milan pastry shop owner Giuseppe Gattullo says a proper panettone is well risen with nothing but a cross on top, and inside only candied citrus and raisins to keep it moist. He calls the Milan version the real panettone. Tell that to the rest of Italy. In Rome, chefs show off their panettone, studded with chocolates and cherries, festooned with sugar and almonds, oozing icing. Pastry chef Giuseppe D'Antoni dares to declare the best panettone are now from southern Italy. His favorite? Uh, pecan, white chocolate, coconuts, and albicocche. In Apricots. I lend my expertise to a jury selecting the best in Rome. Grazie. Okay, looks like a panettone to me. I think these are just a, a bit too wet. It actually looks good. Maybe I'll give it a seven. This is number 24, the last one. The first Milan style classic wins. It takes passion to produce a panettone. Rome pastry chef Walter Musco and team rise before dawn to finish a chocolate version. We have to uh, pirlare, so uh, to rounding the, the panettone one, and then to put in the paper from the beginning to the end, we spend 48 hours. A labor of love that has transformed over time and spread throughout Italy and the world. Megan Williams, CBC News, Rome.